How's it going? It's Gorilla Frilla, and um, the I guess I'm gonna be uh, seen here more often. This is gonna be my first commentary to the um, the new legit COD channel or semi new legit semi new uh, channel, and I just got a message right now saying how they want to sponsor me and how they want me to be on their channel and uh... they post or you guys are already on here so i don't really need to explain the channel sorry about that um, so i guess i'm just going to introduce myself more um, my gamertag is Frilla. my youtube right now it's Frilla one you'll probably see it in the description or something and i'm more of your I wouldn't say super casual, but I'm definitely more of an average gamer. I'm not, for me, I'm not the kind of person that will post extremely high KDs, like 50 and 3, and I don't, if I can get that running around and, you know, the stars just align for me that game, and for some reason people are looking my opposite direction every time I'm running around, then I'll post it, but... I tend to move around more when I play, so it results more deaths. I'm <clears throat> one of the little things I believe about in gameplays is that entertainment comes before score. So I'd rather run around, get 30 and or 40 and 10. What I, I get 44 and 8 in this, rather than getting like 50 and 3, like I said, camping. And of course, you guys are probably gonna enjoy it more. The interesting thing about this gameplay is that we are on a two bar connection. Um, I'm American if you couldn't tell by my voice already, but this was a, uh, a two bar warrior. And um, what you want to do in a two bar situation, and two bars is your connection. If you're unfamiliar, two bars when you have two bars, like you click um, your back button and you will have, uh, you'll have t just two bars. And there's a yellow, and that's how you can tell, and it's a horrible connection that'd be on. You're going to be really laggy. So what you want to do in that situation is, because your guns are going to be lagging, the bullets are going to be, it's going to take more bullets to kill people. So, sorry if I'm getting distracted right now. My friend keeps calling me on Skype, and I want to get through his commentary. But um, <clears throat> what you want to do is you want to get the most overpowered gun you can possibly use. And the reason you do this is because that gun takes less bullets to kill people naturally. So when you have this disadvantage of having the two bar connection where your gun's going to already take more bullets to kill people, you want to minimize the amount of bullets it's going to take to kill people. So say, or <sighs> it's not going to take less, it's more about registering. Your first bullets might not register. So you want to guarantee that you're going to get these kills. So Strong gun that you're comfortable with. Um, TAR-21 FMJ, excellent two-bar gun. Also guns I can see. The AK is decent, but the fire rate's kind of slow on it. You really want qu quick reactions. So sleight of hand very works very well. Stopping power for sure. And then a high powered assault rifle. So, SCAR, if you're, if you're more familiar with the SCAR, go with the SCAR. UMP, I'm really against UMP stopping power, but in a two bar situation or when you have bad connection, I am for UMP stopping power. Because I, I am one of the people that believes that it's overpowered. Naturally, I don't think the gun is that overpowered, but I do believe when you put stopping power on the UMP in a four bar normal situation, that is, it is unfair and overpowered. But, um,. So yeah, make sure you have your overpowered gun. Um, shotguns are decent. The only problem with those is that if it gets down to very close range battle with someone, right here's a bad situation. I've seen the whole team and I have a very weak gun and a bad connection. <laughs> but um, the problem with that is that you can... And if you guys notice, like I'll shoot and the last bullet hits the person and then like a second later I get that plus 50 or plus however many, plus 100. And um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. But let's get to the gameplay because I haven't talked about the gameplay. Right now I'm running 3, 4, 5. Interesting thing about my channel I think 
is that the the scores I get, um, I don't. I okay. Normally, I don't use. Um, high kill streak. So you're not gonna. I can't predict what I'm gonna do in the future. If I go on a high kill streak kick, where for some reason I'm in love with the AC-130 or chopper gunner, then you guys are gonna have to see that. But currently, if you're one of the people who are not that into seeing people getting like, seven gun kills and then 25 kills by the end of their game, <clears throat> I am. I'm definitely the person you're gonna want to watch because I I very I disagree with that a lot because. Just because you're getting a high score doesn't mean that your gameplay is going to be good. And I'm more about trying to make this gameplay good. And running low kill streaks, I believe, makes the gameplay good. I believe in this game, I was on like a thing where I felt like giving my care packages to people. And I've been doing that a lot lately because I'm 10th prestige, legit. And um, I really don't need points. So I'm probably going to take these care packages. But um, there's a couple care packages in this game I'm pretty sure I give away. And. I have some other gameplays on my computer where I've just been giving away gameplays I and mean, giving away um, care packages in them just because it helps my teammates get challenges done for those kill streaks. and there's no reason me being greedy I can still get decent scores without these high kill streaks. and um, and yeah right here would have been a nice triple spray but I'm just gonna blame that one on the connection <laughs> you know you gotta have an excuse for everything right right here we have a party of almost six I'm pretty sure we might have one random and me and my friends we normally mess around a lot like last night we were just playing we're just going riot shield crazy but um we really love messing around that's our favorite like if you saw that riot shield class I use that a lot and um so we usually don't try hard but the fact that we're on two-bar connection we're all like alright let's really try hard this time because it's gonna be a challenge and what you saw me do right there is when I spawned, I spawned with the Overwatch default class. And the reason I did that was because it has Danger Close Pro and I had a Predator Missile. And I was trying to get the most out of that Predator Missile. I, could, I knew I could still change my class without having to die. So you might as well get the most out of your kill streak, right? If it's going to cost you nothing in return, but maybe a couple more seconds just to switch your class, do it. And right here, I'm watching this guy in the map. We did a fast plant on A totally mess with their heads and um, I'm basically just working my way to B right now uh, I got taken out with that with that and uh, with that Semtex and so what we're gonna do is we're kinda get to B when you get to when you get to the bomb in demolition you don't want to just run to the bomb and you don't want to just plant it you want to get to the bomb and you want to settle in you want your team to come in and settle in and that's how a lot of the game modes are even team deathmatch and uh, Dominations, it's all about settling into an area that you want to be able to control. And for domination, it'd be around like maybe the flags that you have or um, or your enemy's flag to spawn trap them. But as you can see, I built my kill streak up right there again, like it was nothing. And like I was saying, we want to settle in. My whole team got to be in. It's going to be difficult for them to really get in there because if one of them gets killed, then, um, then they're going to hold down the area long enough for one of us to get over there again. So. You know, you want to make that area familiar territory and uh, easy win. Easy win, basically. You, demolition is definitely about teamwork right here. I'm pretty sure I take out, like, uh, I take out the guy defusing the bomb. And um, also what you guys need to do, I hate when people don't do this, is call people out. When you see someone, tell your teammates where you saw someone because it helps them out tremendously. Me and my friends always do that. It helps us out a lot just builds your teamwork up and you feel a lot better after when you win using a lot of teamwork but this has been Grill Phil, the first commentary to legit COD hopefully you guys will be see a lot more of me you see the two bar connection 44 and 8 check you guys later um, I'm very happy for this bye